Hello everybody, my name is Leo and if you follow my channel you know that a few days ago I did a demo review of the Pletra X5 coupled with the Strymon Iridium. You can find a link to that video in the card above or in the description below. In the conclusions of that video I was saying that the Pletra had a great potential to become a really cool product and I was hoping some firmware updates, for instance to add a tuner or a way to organize our pedal boards and so on. Actually, it seems that TC Electronic is listening to us as a new firmware update is available and you can find the link to the firmware update in the description below. So, in this video we will do together the firmware update procedure and we will check what's new. Actually, the first thing to do is to download the new firmware and the new tone print app for the Mac or the PC and I have already done it. Now we should connect our Plethora X5 to the computer via the included USB cable. The plethora will show up on our computer as a device and we just have to drag and drop the unzipped plethora x5 firmware file into the plethora folder on our computer. Let's do it. This is the bin file. Then we should disconnect the USB cable and power off and on our plethora and wait for the firmware update to finish. Let's power off and power on. I'm pretty curious to see. As you notice, it's entering the updating procedure 1.1.43 in this case. In the meantime, I'm gonna install the Tom Print app. setting global about version 1.1.43 so I have actually the new version. So what's new? The Tone Print app 4.3 now support Plethora's new board organizer feature that allows us to change the order of our boards via drag and drop and rename our boards. The other new feature is the tuner that can be activated by either pressing and hold the Tone Print push encoder or triple clicking foot switch number three. And here we have the tuner. Now let's see what about the new pedal board organizer. First of all, you have to flip to edit mode there is this images here that is called board, so we can now rename it in this way. Why snake? Leo, one. And let's call it Leo two. And we can even switch it via drag and drop. Oh, very cool. So let's see if it has worked. So now I have in the second slot the Leo 1 and in the first slot the Leo 2, so it actually works. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it would be of great help. See you in the next video, bye bye.